Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. I'm pleased to be able to speak here tonight on this entangled web. Sorry. Further down the list, then? Sorry, okay. Sorry, if, 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 I defer to if you want. Oh, I'm replacing Deputy Finney in the back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's like the banks down, there's all kinds of lists, and we don't know where we are with anything. I'm delighted that the Minister was here tonight, and I know he's tried hard since he came in, uh, the government, to try and sort out the banking mess. But there are huge question marks have arisen, and I have some questions here for the Minister tonight as well. In March 2012, an, an O'Brien Special Purpose Vehicle, Millington Limited, was bidding 50 million in cash for SiteSurf, the company we hear so much about today. And don't look so perplexed, Minister. I have some questions that I have. I just want to warn the Deputy, I don't want the debate to drift into uh, what is the subject matter of the origin of the debate. So that just because issues are in the public domain, some of them, I don't want new issues and new material brought into it. So, the, and, and, and the, the House should always be aware. The House should always be aware that uh, members have absolute privilege, and you can exercise the absolute privilege. However, that doesn't stop a member of the public outside from taking an action uh, against the houses. I didn't say it, Coach, and I hope you'll know my time. Um, so I don't know, are we here to trash this out, or are we not here? Well, you, 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 you know the, the rules of the House. I know the rules of the House, but I think that was, this, that was then upheld by my good Leonard colleague from Tipperary last week in the High Court. Um, this is what's going on. I mean, um, given that uh, Mr. X, so we all know who he is, owed 500 million to IBRC in March 2012. Why did that bank not ask him to pay down the, uh, this debt uh, uh, by 50 million rather than give him money to purchase sites sir? Simple question. Given that Mr. X, I said, owed, owed uh, IBRC, and IBRC um, were not concerned that Mr. X was funding the purchase, uh, would get more debt from um, other banks making IBRC's lending. Uh, situ positive situation unsustainable. Simple questions. What steps were taken by the board of IBRC to gain a full picture of Mr. X's Irish and international borrowings before uh, the, the entry into the site serve deal? If you or I walked into the bank, our Minister Noonan, and we owed him 10 grand and we wanted a loan of 4,000, we'd have to be asked the questions. So it doesn't seem to have two levels here. What's going on? Two different rules. Other IBRC customers were being put out of business uh, for tiny bits and pieces in related to what was going on there. There's also an email here that I must read uh, uh, that came out from, um, the, uh, sorry, the, all these accounts were based in the Companies Act uh, annual return 2006, and we know where they are, Barclays Bank. And what's more worrying is an internal email that I have here uh, from uh, two senior managers uh, in I IBRC, I won't name them as you've asked me to, but the content of the email is strange. You want to send me over your one, uh, your, your one non-NAMA, if, if, uh, if you did for this. I will lash it out uh, later. Have a quick look. Mr. X, there will be fireworks. Internal. There. For your minutes, if you can't find the minutes, you said you couldn't find them. They're all there. I have them here. I can hand them to you. And documents to go with them. This is the fireworks that are going on. Now we have the fireworks. The Irish taxpayer is picking up the fireworks. They're scorched right raw from paying for this criminal activity, our botting criminal activity that we've done in our banking system. And you can't blame it on the last government. This is all since your watch, Minister, Ministers, and Mr. Minister as well, who claim he only came in lately. To the chair. To the chair. I'm talking to, chair. I'm talking to the chair. Yeah. Yeah. Please, relax, the Chairman. I'm, I'm talking to the chair. You know, totally relaxed, yes. and the speakers are always advised and Mr. to speak Mr. to the chair to it, avoid aggravation. You're taking up my time now, Minister. I'm our, our taking up my time, but I have every right to remind you. Of course. I won't forget, don't worry. But Good. relax. I'm totally relaxed. Um, uh, Mr. Jukes and Mr. Energy uh, failed to file up to date statement of affairs up to the date of liquidation of I, uh, RBC, And they were taken to court by former customers. I was there in the court that same day. And a letter from your good self minister for finance, I won't name you, but we all know, uh, was, handed, uh, handed to, uh, was handed to the High Court judge, Lefay, that day, from your good self. Was this correct procedure? 
the executive right to, the, uh, to a judge in open court. That happened. You know that, Minister. Your record will show that. And Mr. Dukes and others were allowed, for I'm concerned at that stage, to operate outside the law. It is a cozy thing again to tell. That's my challenge here. You can heap all the whatever you want on the previous governments and previous governments, but with the ordinary people being persecuted, Minister. We were told they were going to burn the bondholders. I sat over there and listened to him and get Minister, uh, former Tarnish uh, Deputy Gilmour. The fire was going to be so hot, hence fire wouldn't be patching it. But where are we now? We have all this going on under our noses. And the common people and the paid people, and moreover, the people that are being evicted every day of the week, the business people that I have, that some of your Oireachtas colleagues bring to you, Minister, you tell them, go away, you don't know about it. The people that have been persecuted and downtrodden. The lady in, in Cashton Tipperary who has been intimidated and bullied after her husband committed suicide by NAMA. And will be here again in 10, 10 years' time or more, or sooner. I mightn't be here, but there will be uh, Oireachtas people in this house with an inquiry into NAMA. And you know that too, Minister, better than I do. We'll be here as sure as that man, Mr. Duck, Deputy Duck, is sitting in the chair tonight and reminding me of my responsibilities. We all have responsibilities to the people who elected us, not to have this charade going on that is going on. And it's going on under our noses. And you've been forced now. Where's Tisha Kinney? Where's Thomas uh, Burton? I don't see this to speak. Maybe they'll speak tomorrow or maybe they'll be saved by the bell. And I, I listened to Oliver, Oliver Callender today and, 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 and Minister Ring looking for him. One of the gathers said to report he was missing for two weeks, couldn't be found. He can be found opening uh, bottle banks in Mayo, but he won't deal with the substantive issues. There's a cosy cartel here that extends right around Fine Gael and goes back a long time, goes back to where you came from and where you were uh, uh, conceived, some of the people and the party. And you're all looking after yourself, not the ordinary people of Ireland, you never looked after. You're looking after the big people, big business, big bankers. That's what you're looking after. I was definitely banned with the men in the big houses, with the daffodil lines run up the, up the avenues to them. I know what you're looking after. A loss of uh, uh, right down 119 million for side serve, and, 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 and the whole sales, uh, the whole process and uh, sale of side serve was despicable. The whole um, shareholders had five million for a thing that was bankrupt. You wouldn't read it in a, in a novel, in a thriller. If it wasn't so serious, you'd read it. You think it was comedy, a black comedy. That's what it is. And I want to say to you, uh, uh, Minister Noonan, here tonight, and Minister of Justice as well and Minister Kelly will tell us how to get lead out of pipes next. Magic magician he's going to be. When we know that every town and village, in my county anyway, have lead pipes all over the streets, into the houses as well, and we're going to bully now in legislation that you forced to here. Former Minister Big Phil, the enforcer, forced it to, that the households are here this morning, by law are going to have to change their pipes inside. God knows what you'd give himself the water next to put them to sleep all together, comatose them. Because you're in a coma over the last four years, and you think the people don't know about it. It's disgusting in the extreme what has gone on here. And the Minister of Justice might turn and say something to Minister Kelly. I don't mind what she says. I'm just telling the truth as the ordinary people know it. What's going on is a rotten, stinking cesspit for the big people. I have business people that sat in the houses last night. I sat in the houses last week. I bring them here and there trying to get some kind of solace. Many of them at the pin of the collar, suicidal, forced to go in and they won't get a penny of social welfare. And I salute the social welfare officers that tried to help them. And they have been terrorised. But a cosy deal done a cosy cartels, it hasn't changed. You are going to have openness, transparency, new era. You have. But look after your friends first and fool the people and cut the people. But you're not fooling the people any longer, ministers and deputies in the House as well. You're not. And I think it's, 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 it's and I wish whoever the judge will be, time and patience and endurance. And I hope you have the resources uh, to, to, to investigate this fully. Because the people smell a rot here. And it's like the blight in the potatoes is spreading so fast. And it'll be all encompassing. And ye won't escape. Ye can't escape because ye were locked over it. Ye ignored it. Ye actually supported it in many ways. We know that Farmer Chichik are on the board of, of, of IBRC. And they weren't from a certain party either. For the, uh, a certain uh, distinguished line, you had to have the blue blood to be in certain places. And you should be ashamed of yourself, Minister. And you got away light, Minister. You were the mightest touch. And I wish you that well, and I wish you well in health as well. And my near neighbour, I don't like saying this to you, but you have, you have, you have dust on your fingers at this. And, and I think the people will judge, and the final judge, and we'll be back here, as I said, in 10 years' time or whenever, uh, dealing with the skullduggery and the corruption that's going on in AMA.
not to mention the corruption here in this, and not to mention the corruption of Irish water. It's a corrupt organisation set up by ye and forced through this house. And I had a 90 year old woman tonight to be Tom Miller to be, she ring them all day today. I just want to bring to your attention again. You're wasting more time, man. Yeah, I'm not wasting time. I'm bringing to your attention that you cannot allege corruption. But that's just no, no, blatantly but, corrupt. Wait a second. It's blatantly let, corrupt. Let me remind you once again, it, Deputy. You finished. The it's blatantly next speaker, corrupt. The, I'm sorry. That's not your function at all. That's for the court of law. Uh, um, Deputy, uh, you can I'm not finished. I'm not sorry. I'm not finished. You said you wouldn't. I'm you sorry. Took you, sorry you took at least a half minute off me. You concluded. You took a, I didn't cut you. I sat down when you were speaking. Deputy, no, I didn't. Seat because you're out of you. order. You're out of order. You're out of order. You resume your seat. No, Deputy Peter Matthews no, is the next speaker. No, I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry, Deputy. You are out of order and you refuse to accept. The, the, my, my advice. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Deputy. I'm sorry, Deputy. The House, the House is now adjourned. The South, the House is now adjourned until 9:30 tomorrow morning. Uh, would the Minister uh, like to move the adjournment debate?